Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. In today's video, we are going to calculate complexity of dividing functions. Now, when we are calculating complexity, there is a line of code. Let's say this is my first example where I have taken while n is greater than 1, n is equal to n by 2. Now I have to calculate the complexity of this code firstly the statement written after the while loop is a statement inside it so this is something which is inside it so how long it means the extent of this particular statement to basically run now the you need to understand this particular point that n is greater than 1 which is written so it means it definitely should work till your n value is equal to 1 it is running the moment n value is equal to 1 it will stop so i have to find out how much is the extent of this particular code now you know n value is given as n by 2 if i start with one iteration n value becomes n by 2 what if uh, n by 2 is given again we have to calculate n by 2 again why? Because uh, n value is given as n by 2. If second iteration comes, n value becomes n by 2 square. Third iteration comes, it becomes n by 2 cube. So it means it can entirely run till n divided by 2 raised to power k. And uh, n value when it is equal to 1, it means when this entire situation becomes equal to 1, then it can stop. So it means n by 2 raised to power k value is equal to 1. So n value becomes equal to 2 raised to power k and k value would be log of 2n. So what is k? k is that particular extent till that particular extent this program is running. So that the complexity of this code would be order of log base 2n. This is one particular case. Now this case can also be written in this way we can write while n is greater than 1 n is equal to n by 3 so if second question is supposed to be done so this is guys par uh, it, n is equal to n by 3 earlier my complexity when n is equal to n by 2 was log of base 2n it would be log of 3n the same concept applies now this question can also be written in this way where your i value let's say is given as uh, 1 and it is given like while i is less than n i is equal to 2 multiplied with i now if i have to calculate the complexity of this code again the complexity would be same as compared with n is greater than 1 n is equal to n by 2 1 and the same thing you can even try it out your i value is 2 raised to uh, 2 multiplied with i so 2 if your i value becomes if i can solve it in this way while i is less than n i is equal to i multiplied by 2 or 2 multiplied by i one and the same thing now this in entire situation we have to basically execute this particular code till your i value becomes equal to n the moment it is equal to n it will stop so our i value is 2 multiplied with i again again if this loop is running because this loop will run till i becomes equal to n again if this loop is running so i value becomes 2 multiplied with i again if this loop is running it is 2 multiplied with i so how many times this is going to call that is when it is when it is equal to n it will stop so again 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with so many values so i can clearly write this is definitely i can write it as 2 uh, power k multiplied with i is equal to n your i value can be given as let's say 1 so your 2k value is equal to n so k value would be if i take log on both sides it 
if I take log base bar two sides, so it means I will get k log two two is equal to log two n. So your k is an extent. Your complexity would be order of log two n, right? Now, if I have to solve this question while n is greater than one, n is equal to n by two n is equal to n by 3 what is the complexity the complexity guys is very much simple n is equal to n by 2 n is equal to n by 3 this is the complexity of log of 2n this is the complexity of log of 3n so both are important so complexity would be the multiplier of their base log n so the answer would be log of 6n now I'm taking another example. Another example can be taken in this way. N value you can take it as 2 raised to power 2 raised to power k. And uh, there is one for loop i is equal to 1 or i is less than equal to n i plus plus. Now uh, we can also write j value is equal to 2 while j is less than n and i am writing j is equal to 2 multiplied with j and i am stopping this whole part if i have to calculate the complexity of this particular code you see this is different variable this is i and this is j so there are two different variables complexities are bound to be multiplied now, if you just see i is equal to 1, 1 is less than equal to n. So, it is entirely depending upon the value of n. This answer would be n only. Since this y loop is coming under this for loop and we have written j is equal to 2 multiplied with j, this complexity, it means it will run when j value becomes equal to n. So, it is again 2 multiplied with j again it is multiplied with 2 multiplied with j so many values when it is equal to n then it will stop so it means it can be written as 2 raised to power k is equal to n and we have got k value as log 2n that we discussed in the previous example so we have got this as n and this answer has log 2n so obviously the complexity is multiplier of both the answer would be n log n now this question can also be framed in this way that for i is equal to 0 and let's say i is less than n i plus plus and now we can frame it in this way uh, where uh, j value let's say it is equal to 2 while j is less than n j is equal to j square if i have to calculate the complexity of this code uh, very simple uh, simple scenario this is running till n so it will be a complexity of n guys even if the n value is given as 2 raised to power 2 raised to power k it has nothing to do with it why because this entire loop will work from 0 to n only right now we are getting this j is equal to 2 and j is less than n it means the extent of this code is working till j value becomes equal to n because it is running when j is less than n it will stop when j becomes equal to n so that extent we are calculating and j value is uh, taken as j square i can also take it as j square now if this loop runs again, the answer would be j square square. If this loop runs again, the answer would be j square square and square. So it means this is something which is continuing. Again, if it is continuing, I can write it as j square k. And what is the value of j? The j value would be 2. That is given over here. 2 raised to power 2 raised to power k is equal to n. What if I take log on both sides? I will get 2 raised to power k log of 2 2 and log 2 n so this is answer is 1 and again if i write 2 raised to power k log 2 n again i take log on both sides the answer would be log of 
log 2n. This is equal to k is equal to log of log 2n. This is a scenario which is uh, taken and hence the answer would be uh, this is n and this is log of log n. The answer will be n log of log n. Right? So guys, this question can also be done in another way. way. Another way is that, uh, sorry, there are there can be any other question apart from this. If I am writing it as j is equal to j square, this uh, the other question can form can be formed. I can put j value is equal to. I can put j value is equal to two multiplied with j, and we got n log n as an answer. What if I put this way? I'm writing j is less than log n, and I'm writing j is equal to j square. So it means this program will work till j becomes equal to log n. Now, j value is j square. If this loop runs one time, if this loop works another time, so till j is 2 raised to power k, it is working. Right? Now, you have to calculate this 2 raised to power 2 raised to power k is equal to log n. Taking log on both sides, I will get 2 raised to power k log of log n. If I take log on both sides, I'll get k is equal to log of log of log n. And this is working till n times. The complexity would be n of log of log of log n. This is also one kind of scenario. You can be given the value of this value which is uh, and j is less than log n, it can be given as root of n. So you can calculate the answers. If you like this video, kindly like, share and subscribe. Kindly uh, comment if there is any doubt. Thank you very, very much.